What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Welcome back to game 7 of our IPL with the Royal Challengers Bangalore. Today we are playing, as I said, our 7th and final match. We're taking on the 2nd place Sunrisers Hyderabad, which means essentially the winner of this game not only will get a home semi-final, I think both of us are guaranteed that anyway, uh, but will essentially get themselves a home final if they do manage to win their semi. So there is a lot to play for. The minor premiership is on the line. Warner and Darwin will be looking to go and get off to a good start for the Sunrisers Hyderabad. We'll be looking to do what we have done so uh, well, so well this tournament, and that is just restrict teams. Our bowling has been very, very good. Shane Watson has been outstanding um, at the death, and hopefully he can do the same today. But Mandeep Singh, he's done pretty well to start things off here, it must be said. He has gone for a four in that second ball, but he has surrounded that with three dot balls. So the pressure now on David Warner, you would have to say, to try and manufacture a boundary, which is exactly what he has done. He's gone over through cover, whatever you want to call it. That picked up his second four of the boundary. Eight for none with one ball left to go. The Sunrisers Hyderabad. And things are looking very, very good. So, as I mentioned, I think possibly in Monday's video, the IPL is now done and dusted. So, I'm looking to go and try and race through all my IPL uh, series that we've got going on. So, we've got this one here, which has got this game. And then a maximum of another two, because we are guaranteed to make uh, the semi-finals. It just depends how we go after that there. We're going to change this field uh, to Warner, Chica, poor old Chica Darwin hasn't even faced the ball yet. Poor Chica Darwin. So we've got this, um, and then we've got the cricket captain game to go and get through. So there is a lot to try and get through. I'm going to look to try and wrap up um, this tournament, basically, shall we say. I'm going to look to try and wrap it up by Sunday. And I don't know what it is. I don't know why, for some reason, it goes to aggressive fields Uh in five over games. I mean, surely you'd want to have as many players back on the boundary as soon as you could, um, just to try and limit the boundaries as such. But that's all right. Uh, we'll take that. As I said, Sunday we'll be looking to go and try and wrap it up. I've just got my little recording schedule uh, down here. I've kind of tried to plan it out like I used to, just so I can try and get ahead of things and try and get back, as I said, to doing those daily uploads. I would really love to get back uh, into the swing of that. I think it's really good for you guys, really good for me, um, especially with the amount of series that I've got going on at the moment. You know, the, the two to three day uploads uh, with all that I've got going on. I mean, you look at it, uh, there's career mode, obviously. There's this IPL series. We've got our Canterbury Kings one as well, which we're getting towards the end of two. Um, essentially four ICC series as well, and a lot of people have been saying uh, to upload a bit of different content as well. So I'm going to look, probably once I've finished off, maybe this and maybe the Kings uh, tournament to look to bring in some AFL Evolution, just once a few patches and stuff like that are out. Uh, and just, I guess just getting it when it's... I wouldn't say it's an incomplete game at the moment, but just when they fix a few of the bugs and stuff like that, so it will be good. Shika Darwan, you beauty. Six massive runs. That's gone 96 metres. It was a very good over from uh, Milne up until then. It had only gone for the seven. It's now gone for 13. After two, 22 for none. Uh, we've got Stuart Binney. I'm going to bring Niggy in. So we'll go Niggy Gale, two lots of spin. Stuart Binney, for some reason or another, I just do not like using him in this game. He just struggles for me. Um, so we are now going to go to spin, and hopefully that... Well, hopefully we can just put a spin on the opposition, because I've got off to a very good start here, um, and working very much in boundaries. Shika Darwin was very quiet at the start. He has now come into his own, it must be said, uh, and is striking at well better than David Warner. He's striking very well. There's another one. So boundaries galore from Sunrise's Hyderabad in their quest to become the minor premiers, it must be said. Man, oh man, we are going to have to do something very, very shortly. I've tried, this is the third different type of delivery I've tried with Negi, just to try and get something. We get a one, I'll take that, I'm happy with that. Uh, it's not a boundary, so, you know, that, at the moment I will just take ones. It's going to be very difficult, I think, uh, to try and get ourselves some wickets. We'll look to try and continually bowl those top spinners, uh, those quicker top spinners as well, those fuller ones. And it's worked pretty well. It's gone for only two uh, sorry, only one off the last two deliveries. The first couple of balls getting taken to quite heavily. And hopefully the fielder can go chase this one down as well, which he has done. Uh, and that will only be a single. So 
A good comeback here, it must be said, from Negi after going quite... Well, he was quite expensive, uh, those first two balls, but he has pulled it back. Still gone for 10, and that one has been crunched out towards cover. It's going to be one hand, one bounce. Unfortunately, we're not playing some backyard cricket here. Um, but a very good comeback from Negi. He goes for 11 in it over. Sunrise is still 33 for none, uh, and we really are going to need, it must be said... Uh, Chris Gale and Shane Watson, who are all-rounders, our international all-rounders, who have got the job done, it must be said, with the ball in this tournament. I think Chris Gale would be up there with one of the best bowling figures, not only for us, but in the tournament in general. He did take, I think it was about three for one in a game. I think that was against the uh, Lions, quite possibly. And this ploy is working quite well. Bowling on the legs, and it's just being flicked down to that man uh, just for a single. So... This is a good start from Chris Gale, uh, from Chris Gale, sorry. Just the two singles off it so far, and he's followed it up with a dot ball. So even better, and this is what we need. We don't want to be chasing a huge, huge total. Um, you know, we want to go and try and pick up the victory if we can. But again, working it to the leg side. That one there just pushed. Could have possibly come back for the second. They have just decided to go for the one, though. And uh, again, this over just goes from... I don't want to jinx it, but it goes from good to better. Uh, for <clears throat> Chris Gale, but I've put the mockers on it, I've put the kiss of death on it, as you would expect, it has gone down the ground, and it has ended up going for another four, so the fours just continue to keep coming, uh, and that one there, I think that possibly has gone through Shikha Darwan's legs and has been stumped, would you believe? So that is one, I think that is one of the only stumpings that I've had in this tournament. I think it's only the second stumping I've had in the game in general. So we will definitely take that. Um, and I think, I think now it's Shane Watson coming over. Stuart Binney, I'm going to be disappointed. Uh, Moises coming in and it is the death specialist that we have known to love. We've come to love him. Shane Watson, and hopefully he can do the same again. One for 40, one over left to go. There is a new batsman at the crease, Moises Enriquez, but I don't think, to be honest, don't tell me. Do not tell me that we now have two new batters at the crease because David Warner has gone first ball, and Shane Watson once again coming up the goods, would you believe? Um, it's just incredible. It is honestly incredible. Uh, Yadav gets his second dismissal for the game. The team's on a hat trick. And I just don't know how Watson does it. We've got two new batters at the crease. As I was saying before that wicket, I don't really think that being a new batter in a five-over game really matters. Essentially, you go out from ball one and you're looking to score boundaries. You're looking to hit sixes. You're looking to pierce the gap in the field. So, you know, being new to the crease, it's not that much of a disadvantage in this game. Uh, it can easily be made up for. So there is a nice shot from Moises. Again, it probably is just going to be the one. Um, so again, Shane Watson, our death bowling specialist, coming good in the final over. And I... Apparently that was one above the shoulder. I have no idea how, because I'm bowling Yorkers. Well, sorry, I'm bowling full length. I'm not bowling Yorkers. But um, for some reason or another, Watson just seems to get the job done at the back end of the innings. It's only gone for two this over so far. There's two balls left to go, and we've got the wicket as well. Uh, another wicket would be ideal. I think if we can just limit the boundaries, which is what we've done. Big swing there from Yuvraj Singh. And I thought possibly it was going to be a wide with the delay that we had there, but not the case. It has just been uh, adjudged as a good ball. That one there is going to go the distance. So they get one off the last ball. Yuvraj Singh picks up a six. The Sunrisers Hydra bid finished two for 48. Which at the end of the day is not terrible, considering the start they did get off to. We did pull it back uh, with Gale and Watson. <clears throat> excuse me, in those final two overs. And we do have... Oh, my God. <clears throat> I apologize for that. That was disgusting. Um, but we do have some very, very good batters. We are going to need it, though, because we do need to go out 10 runs and over. We've got Gail Coley. Uh, obviously, De Villiers left to come, too. And that is definitely going to help us. Possibly four leg buys. Actually, it's wides. It's wides. Five wides to start things off, and that is, you couldn't ask for much of a better start. That takes the run rate already down to just five and over required. So uh, that is absolutely perfect. That one there has been crunched by Chris Gale as well. So the first legitimate ball technically has gone for nine off Bish Kumar, and all of a sudden we only need 40 off 29, and we've got essentially what we need in this first over inside the space of the first 
ball. So we're going to run through, take the cheeky single, rotate the strike. We've got the left-right hand combination here. And Virat Kohli has been very good, not only as a captain in this tournament, but he has been very good as a batter. He's led very well from the front. So hopefully he can do the same again here today as he's punched that one through the gap. Probably not the same timing as Gale, but it is going to have enough. Remember, in these first two overs are essentially power play overs. A lot of gaps in the field. I think there's only two fielders out there. My voice sounds terrible. You'd honestly think that I'm really, really sick, but it's just my throat. Oh, and now he goes up a cut. That's going to clear the fielder. Go for another four. So this is not a great over from Bish Kumar at all. It has only been, I think that's four legitimate balls. He's gone for 18 already, would you believe? And uh, we are going to... Oh, just keep going. And it goes from bad to worse for the Sunrisers Hydra. But would you believe Oja has dropped a pretty simple catch as well. And that could have been a huge difference maker in this context of the game. But not the case. And that one there has gone through too. So the rubber, the green, is going definitely to RCB in this game so far. 22 coming off the first over, which is almost half of the required runs already. And Bish Kumar... That's 5-5 five, five cricket, mate. That happens sometimes. Unlucky. I can't believe that we took that many off the over. I really cannot believe that we did that. Ashish Nero coming into the attack now. Got the same field. So if we can go through cover uh, and time it well enough, we are going to pick ourselves up. Four, you would have to say. But, um, oh, I thought we were going to get overthrows there. I was going to say, that would just that would tip things off as a terrible day. For the Sunrisers. If we got some overthrows there after that shocking first over from Bish Kumar. Um, I mean, it had it had everything that over. It had a drop catch. It had five wides. Um, <clears throat> it had a little French cut that went for four. So it basically had everything. And, I mean, now we need 25 off 22, which essentially is just a run of ball. Um, oh, Gail, what are you doing? Don't step away from that, son. Power that up over the top. There is a man at deep backward point, so that's actually not a bad ploy from Nera uh, to be attempting that. Whew, and that one there has just missed the leg peg. So Gale has said, I've had enough. I'm going to start swinging and look to finish this game sooner rather than later. Well, that's going to clear the fielder. Again, one hand, <coughs> one, hand one bounce. My God. <coughs> Excuse me. I really need to get rid of this. <coughs> it's terrible. So many people on stream, when I've been streaming lately, have been like, man, Cliffy, you sound so different. And I'm not sure if it's just because of the mic, new mic that I've got, uh, is just so much clearer, or if it's the fact that I'm sick. But that's a good over, nonetheless, uh, from Ashish Nero. It only went for three, so that really has pulled things back. It's still eight and over required, so we're still not completely out of the bush yet. And uh, Mushfiza Rahim coming in to have a bowl. And we do know how dangerous he can be. Again, another one-hand, one-bounce backyard cricket. I reckon it would be really cool in a patch somewhere along the line if they released an option <coughs> that you could play backyard style. So six, six and out. Because sixes, I must say, compared to the old game, are more difficult to hit. Uh, and that is going to make things even tougher. With a pretty soft dismissal, must be said. Uh, captain to captain with Warner taking the catch. But yeah, six and out, one hand, one bounce. Um, and just stuff like that, you know, that'd be really cool. But um, that's alright. We'll regroup from here. And put Mushfiza Rahim on a hat trick. Because De Villiers has gone, tried to up the ante. Uh, and just basically tried to finish this game off with a hiss and a roar. But that has not happened so far. And we're down to 23 off 15, so it's still not completely out of the woods yet, you would say. Um, oh my god, and Gail almost goes and gets himself out too. Compared to that first over where nothing could go wrong, everything is going wrong now. And we just can't seem to pierce the field, get over the field. Um, and we're going to need something soon, it must be seen like that. That is an absolute terrible ball. Raheem's got his third, but that is a terrible ball. That is absolutely terrible. That ball should have been absolutely plummeted. It was not short. It was hip high on the waist, and it was just asking, just like that, 
to be hit away. Shane Watson, saviour with the ball, saviour with the bat. He's going to hopefully try and get it uh, done. Nonetheless, a great over from Fizz. Three for six in 2020, and one over is absolutely crazy. We've got a spinner coming in now, and that required run rate is back up to nine. Uh, so that is the biggest it has been in a while. And again, we're not going to be able to pierce the field. What is going on here? I honestly don't know. We just can't seem to get anything. There's just no timing, no nothing. Oh, look at that. That's terrible. That is so slow. 69 Ks. I cannot remember the last time in international cricket, or any form of cricket, mind you, that a spinner, or any form of decent, decent level cricket, we shall say, that a spinner has bowled that slow. That's terrible. But Shane Watson, again, coming to the floor... He had a four first ball, he's had a four second ball, he's eight off two, and he is basically taking this RCB side, you would have to say, to the title, almost single-handedly. He's gone again. There's no fielder back there. As soon as it's pitching on the legs, all we need to do is just get a little bit on it. Fast outfield, there's no fielders out there, uh, and it is proving to be fairly easy at the moment, it must be said, for Shane Watson. He's 12 off three. Uh, and that one there is even bigger, would you believe? 88 metres, that is the first maximum of the game. 46 now, just the three required. So we can probably look to try and finish it off this ball if we can. And Sharma, the spin for him just has not worked today, it must be said. That one there has gone up. May not have enough to go all the way to the boundary. In fact, it has. So RCB finished 3 for 50. Many thanks to Shane Watson for basically getting his team once again out of a hole with both bat and ball. How crucial has he been since he was reselected for this RCB side, it must be said. Chris Gale, 10 off 10, he carried his bat through in a very un -Gale like uh, manner. But Watson, 1 for 8, bowling that final over and then getting 22 not out, meaning the Royal Challengers win by 7 wickets with 1 over left remaining. That does mean that we claim the minor premiership and we head into the semi-final next week to take on the 4th place side. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, ka kite noa, going to find my jandals. See you soon.